Well, if you've been downtown recently, you may have noticed them motorized scooters. Yeah, they're called Bird Rides. It's a scooter sharing program launched just last week, but the city had nothing to do with it. And as News 8's Elizabeth Choi learned, uh, the city isn't happy about it. She joins us now live from downtown with reaction to the new rides. Elizabeth. Yeah. Not happy at all, Phil. Essentially, the city didn't learn that Bird was operating here in Indianapolis until after they'd started doing business here. On Monday, Bird officially reached out to the city to acknowledge that they were, in fact, setting up shop in downtown Indianapolis. And then on Tuesday, the city reached out to Bird, telling them they needed to stop doing business here in the city, at least until further notice. And then fast forward to today, I saw a lot of people out and about riding on these scooters. In fact, I brought my own helmet, hoping to catch a ride. Couldn't find anything right before this live shot. That's how busy, that's how popular these motorized scooters are. And I talked to customers today who say they're having way too much fun to slow down. It's been great. It's so fun. Well, I actually saw them in Nashville, Tennessee, like two weeks ago. Uh, I fell in love with them there. We decided to strap on a helmet and take a bird on a test drive using the app to pay and tell us where nests are or where scooters are parked. Mind you, you can leave them almost anywhere. We hit the neighborhood around Mass Ave, paying less than five bucks, a dollar per ride plus 15 cents a minute. Going 15 miles per hour, getting from point A to point B, so long as you aren't traveling long distances, was easy and quick. During lunch, you know, generally no matter where you work, you get an hour. So we can cover the entire city in about five minutes and go wherever we want. So it's pretty nice. Bird has rules like you must have a driver's license and you have to wear a helmet. Most people we saw today weren't wearing one. So how is public safety regulated? The city issued a cease and desist order requesting that Bird suspend its operations for 30 days as it works on finalizing an ordinance that would regulate businesses like Bird. The ordinance is not new. It's been in the works since April. In a statement, the city said in part, over the last several months, we've been working with the city county council to establish guidelines that take into account this new technology. Until those rules are adopted, we've asked all of these companies to voluntarily suspend operations so that we can work together to ensure the well-being and vibrancy of our downtown. So, as the city attempts to hit the brakes on Bird, customers are not slowing down. I don't think just taking them off the streets will make people who love them very happy, including myself. No fun for 30 days, pretty much what they're saying. <laughs> County Council Committee is expected to vote on the ordinance on June 28th. As for Bird, they did get back with us when we reached out to them saying they did receive the city's cease and desist, desist order. And they said in a statement in part, it's uh, following Bird's availability in the city, people have rapidly adopted e-scooters as a new and accessible form of transportation. We look forward to continuing to serve our new Indy riders as we work with city leaders to create a regulatory framework that works best for the people of Indianapolis and helps them meet their goals. But again, we were out and about today. We saw lots of those scooters, lots of customers riding them. So as far as what's in the future for Bird e-scooters, we really won't know until either the city or Bird makes the next move. Live downtown, Elizabeth Choi, Wish TV, News 8.